Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this video, we are going to fix Windows 10 or Windows 11 is stuck at hibernating. It's really frustrating and very annoying when we try to turn on the computer, we keep on getting the message hibernating. So we will be doing very simple steps to fix this problem and we will also make sure that this problem doesn't come back again. So let's get started. So the very first thing, you need to remove the charger if it's a laptop. If it's a desktop, that's fine. But if it's a laptop, remove the charger plug. And once you have removed the charger, then press and hold the power button for 5 seconds. In this manner, the laptop will be turned off. Once the laptop is turned off, if your laptop has a removable battery, then remove the battery and then press and hold the power button again for 5 seconds. In this manner, you're going to release all the energy from the laptop. And then put the battery again on the laptop and try to turn on the computer by just pressing and holding the power button. Once this is turned on, if you wish, you can turn off the hibernating. So for that, we just need to click on the search bar and type CMT, then run as an administrator and it will ask you to say yes and once it is opened we need to type power cfg space hyphen h space off once you have typed it hit enter so in this manner you have turned off the hibernation now there is one more step which we need to do and for that we just need to go to the search bar and type troubleshoot and you will find troubleshoot settings. Once you click on that, you need to click on other troubleshooters here. So basically we are going to troubleshoot the power. So if we scroll it down, we will find the power and we just need to click on run. So it will diagnose the issue and it will fix it. So it has fixed two things. So you can do that. And there is one more thing which you can do is I'll just close this. You can create a new power plan which will be very good to prevent this problem. So for that you just need to click on the search bar and type power and you will find edit power plan. At the very top you find power options. Let me maximize it. So we just need to click on power options and from here you can click on create a power plan and you can give a name to it and you just need to click on next so I just have given a name and I'll just click on next and you can choose the settings and once you are satisfied with the settings you just need to simply create a power plan and once this is done just restart the computer and you will not get this problem guys if it has worked for you please hit the like and subscribe I'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day